Lord, show me yourself. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, show yourself again. Come confess it. Say, Lord, show yourself again. Can we stand up, please? I need to stand up with me, please. I want to get some five minutes to pray with you. Just confess this. Say, Lord, show yourself again. Lord, show yourself again. As the God of signs and wonders. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father, show yourself to me. As a God of signs and wonders, just confess it, Lord, show yourself to me this morning. As a God of signs and wonders, show me yourself this morning. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Lord, show yourself to me this morning. As a God of signs and wonders. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, show yourself this morning as the God that transforms the impossibilities of life. Lord, show yourself this morning as the God that transforms the impossible situations. Begin to pray, begin to pray this morning. Father, show yourself this morning. You are the God that transforms the impossibilities of life. Just show me yourself. Show me yourself. Show me yourself, Lord. Glory and honor and praise, Lord. Show me yourself, Lord. Show me yourself, Lord. As a God that transforms the impossible situations, be glorified. Say in the name of Jesus, show yourself God as the God that destroys the works of the devil. Lord, show me yourself as the God. Are you serious right this morning? Say, Lord, show me yourself as the God that destroys the works of the devil. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Father, show me yourself as the God that destroys the works of the devil. Show yourself this morning as the God that prostrates the powers of darkness. Show yourself this morning as the God that fights my battles. Show yourself, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say the name of Jesus. Lord, show yourself as the God that makes a way where there seem to be no way. Begin to pray this for the Father. Show yourself, Lord. As the way where there seem to be no way. I want to hear a boy. I want to hear a voice. Lord, show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. As the God that makes a way where there seem to be no way, Lord. You make a way where there seem to be no way. Show yourself. Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Show yourself as a I am God. Show yourself, Lord. Lord, show yourself this morning. Show yourself. Show 
serve the compassionate God. Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, show yourself as a compassionate God. Reveal yourself to me as a compassionate God. Begin to pray this morning. Father, we just pray. Lord, show yourself as a compassionate God. Glorify your name this morning. Thank you, Lord. As we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take a seat, please. Come in. Hallelujah. Amen. God must show up. Amen. I was sharing the testimony of this young lady. In this happened in Africa. This woman put to bed. So my intestines came out. And could not go back inside. She was like that for two years. Doctors didn't know what to do. Imagine the woman tying diapers and moving around it, you know, stinking. And she came to the cities there, sitting there, so pale and so sad. I was preaching that, that day. And the Lord said, pray for that woman. You see, their prayers will never have the result until Jesus showed himself. Amen. It's not the words you speak, it's the act that happened. The Lord show yourself again. The Lord show yourself again. When God shows up in a situation, things change. Hallelujah. When God show up your situation, miracles happen. What you need is not religion, you need to see Jesus. You need God to step into your life. When God steps into your life, the closed doors come on. Hallelujah. So this morning, I, I pray that you seek him. You, you, you cry within your heart, Lord, show yourself again. Say, Lord, show yourself again. Lord, show yourself again. Lord, show yourself again. Hallelujah. Amen. We're serving that God who is so awesome. He want to show himself again. Say it again. again. Say again. again. It means he has done it before. Let's see the Bible this morning. Hallelujah. I'm going to go to two, two passages this morning. The first is John 20. John chapter 20. Reading from verse 10 to 17. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes. But Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father and to my God and your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just turn your hand and give the Lord glory to somebody. Can you see? Now that verse began in verse 10. The disciples came and saw the tomb and went back home. Because these three women, Mary, Madeleine, Mother of Christ, and around Mary went to the grave in the morning and the grave was open. So they ran back to the disciples and said, He is not there. So the apostles came to the grave. Peter and John came and observed the place. And then what? 
they went back to their houses. But Mary stayed behind. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary refused to go. Mary saw the grave, saw the grave clothes, but did not see Jesus. And she refused to go home. She was saying, Lord, show yourself to me. I want to see Jesus. And you know the whole story here. You know, when he saw him, in the, 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 Jesus, he thought it was a gardener. So he just show me where he is. I will carry him. If he's still a corpse, I will carry him home. That is the heart that is seeking after Jesus. <laughs> and Bible says, Jesus revealed himself to Mary. Say, Lord, show yourself to me. Lord, you know, you are, you are talking as if you don't have passion. The way you are talking is, you know, I'm not sure you are expecting. Have you ever been in a place that did a miracle? Uh, I'm not sure. So, Lord, show yourself to me. Lord, show yourself to me. Lord, show yourself to me. I was so glad to see the testimony of Sister Sarah Rose. Is Sarah Rose there? Yeah. This woman got a, a car accident. And she died. She was carried to the mortuary and placed outside. But God made a miracle with some special doctors were visiting. And they said, please, before you send an emotion, let's start to try to do what? PCR, call it what? CPR. Uh -huh, and try. And they tried after like so long time, they have got the first heartbeat. And they struggled. And she saw Jesus. She saw what? Jesus. And sent her back. She came back to the world. Say, so Lord, show yourself to me. I'm not hearing that your voice. I can't, you know, I can't sense. Lord, show yourself to me. Have you been to a place where you need a miracle or you die? Lord, show yourself to me. Hallelujah. Say, so Lord, show yourself to me. Your condition can only change through an encounter. Say my condition can only change through encounter. Say I want to see Jesus. Shall I want to see Jesus in my family? I want to see Jesus in a personal way. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. Lord, show me yourself in a personal way. Lord, show me yourself. My elder brother, Prophet Tafili, is doing expert now in the world. He went to visit a village, a village without clinic, without hospital, nothing. And he went home, took his, uh, the, the, my father's gun, went for hunting, and the cobra hit him in the bush. No cobra. Cobra is deadly. Two hours from home. So he tried, he fell first of all, was unconscious, and he came back to him and saw the cobra still there. He fought and killed the cobra and then tied his leg, dragged himself to the house. There's no doctor. The nearest clinic is like two hours trekking. Know what he did? He went into a porcelain church, locked himself, slept in the altar. I was saying, Lord, show me yourself. Lord, show me yourself. The pastor never made it a poison. And all the poison came out. Amen. You walk there, free. Are you, are you church? Amen. Clap your hand, give the Lord glory, somebody. Amen. Say, Lord, show me yourself. Amen. Show yourself to my children. Amen. Show yourself to my family. Amen. I want to see you in action. I Say, I want to see Jesus in action. You. you have heard about Jesus, but few have seen him. Many have heard about Jesus. Few have seen him at work. I'm not interested in you just hearing about Jesus. I want you to personally experience him. To personally experience that Jesus Christ. You've heard testimonies about other miracles. But that is not important. 
What is important is your own testimony. Say my own encounter. My own, my own story. Say the name of Jesus. This is my season for my own story. Hallelujah. So Mary here, imagine Mary just jump and cling on Jesus. And God said, please, don't cling on me. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary saw Jesus. Said, I will see him in my life. I will see him in my job. I will see him in my finances. I will see Jesus in my children. I will see Jesus in this nation. I will see Jesus. I will see his glory. I will see his glory. I will see him in a big way. You must begin to decide and tell yourself, I will see Jesus in a personal way. I will see him in an unusual way. I will see Jesus in ways beyond human understanding. I will see Jesus Christ. The first time I saw Jesus Christ, I was like 12 years. 12 years of age, I was lying in the, in the, in the parlor in Africa. My village, the, they have the men have their own building. Women have what? Husband will build a woman house behind. And that's where you have to go and sleep and change everything. So I was in my mother's house, sleeping there in the parlor. And around midnight, I saw this night I wasn't asleep. You know that some nights just get up and you're alive on the bed. I saw the door. So someone just walked through the door. I knew it was a white man, so <laughs> I was really bored again. I saw this white man just walk through the door. I came and sat beside me and was just laughing, smiling. What a peace. My father was a Kabakista. I told my father to say, I saw this white man look like Jesus. He said, God is calling you. You've got to be a reverend father. <laughs> he was a Kabakista. We're all, we're all Catholics. You know, he knew about reverend father. But that was Christ coming to me. I can see that face yeah. smiling. What a peace to see. Yeah. When you see Jesus, yeah. your stress will vanish. Yeah. Say, in this life, yeah. I will see the glory of God. Yeah. Say, as long as I live, yeah. as long as I live, yeah. I will see the glory of God yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. There is no hopeless situation. As long as Jesus Christ is alive, there is no case as impossible situation. There is nothing he cannot do. The God we serve is alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the God I serve is alive. Amen. My sister, my elder sister delivered herself from cancer. No doctor, no preacher pray for her. She had cancer of his used uterus. I don't know uterus or that. But you know what happened to her? All the doctors said, just wait and die. Because the stomach was swollen like nine months pregnancy also. And the doctor said, it's, if you don't pray, you will die. So nine enter there, you will spread your death. And she was in a Catholic church, Cameroon. They believe, they, you know, they have three days fasting. She went for three days fasting. And when people close and go home, she was sleeping in the altar. All night. Say, man. Wow. You know what's bothering me? Because you don't, you don't seek God. You, you, you don't seek God. You seek dollars. You know how we grew up? You come to church. Somebody's here kneeling down and pray. The Lord. You come. You go to church for weekend. People are there on the floor, lying on the floor, crying. But when I see people here, no time to pray, no time to study the Bible. You just want to see. And then they are suffering from all the stress, all the trouble. God is on all the some people's life. All is not well. All is not well. You want to see God, how did Mary see Jesus Christ? The rest went home. She remained behind herself. 
I will not go home. Lord, I want to see you. Where is Jesus? And Christ appeared because of that longing. See the boy? It's time to seek him until you find him. It's time to seek him until you find him. When you seek him, you will find him. My sister was there the first night, sleeping, sleeping on the platform. The platform cried the whole night with a big stomach the next day. The third day, she was there in the night crying, you know, and she could say, Something was covering her like a black cloth. He just pulled it and said, in Jesus' name. Then when, when they come in the morning, when they were so I could not believe. She gave birth to a tumor. Like 10 kilograms of meat. You know, came out. It was in a big bucket with blood. I don't know, it's not, you know, blood bucket. You see the some tumors are very big here. She pushed that thing out. And she gave birth to it as a child 10 years after. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say, Lord Jesus, show me yourself in this land. Don't be happy with religion. Don't be happy with getting up in the morning, go to work, and then get a picture. And that is not life. You must enter the glory of God. So I want to see the glory. I want to see your glory. I want to see your glory. Now, just show me yourself in a personal way. Let's see the last passage this morning. Acts 9. And I can share some few things you'll pray. In a personal way. In this situation. Now look into your life. There's one area God must show up. Say one area. That God must show up. Amen. There's an area that God must show up in your life. Don't take this lightly. Something must happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That was stand up place this morning. I want to take you to 10 minutes. Angry prayer. Say angry prayer. Angry prayer. Angry prayer. Angry prayer. Angry prayer. When Anna in the Bible, in the Old Testament, went to the temple, she was at the altar, pray word, angry prayer. Say, Lord, I've been insulted for many years. I've been abused. Lord, show yourself. I need a baby. At the altar there, Lord, show yourself. Make this miracle. Lord, show yourself. Heal me. Lord, show yourself. Open me a door. I want to marry. Lord, show yourself. Bless my parents. Lord, show yourself. I need my stay. Lord, show me yourself. Some things must happen in your life. Hallelujah. Their children must prosper. Say that. Do you know how to pray? It's time to pray now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, Lord, show me yourself. Take up your hand. Take up your hand. Take up your hand. You need to pray. That's not one prayer this morning. We need to pray. Lord, show me yourself. I want to hear a voice. I want to hear a voice. Pray some angry prayer. There's some areas in your life that God must show up. God must show up. Show me yourself as the Savior. Show me yourself as the Savior, Lord. Show me yourself as the King of Kings, as the Lord of Lords, as the God of miracles, as the God of testimonies. Lord, show me yourself as the God that, that provides. Lord, show me yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, show me your son, Lord. Lord, show me yourself. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Lord, show me yourself. Bandi be your son, I'm bashing. In my family. Lord, I want to see you again. Show yourself. The God of the miracles. In my tire. Lord, show yourself. Open the big door. Let the big door do something big. Say the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. So Lord, show me yourself as the big God who does big things. So Lord, show me yourself as the big God who does big things. Let the big things manifest in my life. Now listen, hello. God wants to do something that will give you a major testimony. It's a major testimony. It's a major testimony. Amen. That can change your story, change your life. Expand your faith this morning. Enlarge your faith. Say, God, let that big thing happen. Amen. Let that big thing happen. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Lord, I just believe you. 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 Lord, the big God, show me yourself. The great God, show me yourself. The awesome God, show me yourself. The God of the miracles, show me yourself. I want to experience you, Lord. The big God, the great God, the awesome God. The mighty God, the glorious God. Show yourself, Lord. Show yourself, Lord. In the name of Jesus, show yourself, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bandibia Sabiara. So, Lord, show me your glory. Say, Lord, show me your power. Say, Lord, show me your power. Lord, manifest your power. Shout, Lord, manifest your power. Say, Lord, manifest your power. Lord, manifest your power. On my behalf. Lord, manifest your power. On my behalf. Lord, manifest your power. Please hand your body. Pray that prayer. Lord, manifest your power on my behalf. We need to pray, we need to pray, we need to pray. Lord, manifest your power in my life. Lord, manifest your power in my life. Lord, manifest your power in my life. Lord, manifest your power. Manifest your power, Lord. Manifest your power, Lord. Manifest your power, Lord. You know, the greatest miracle is a life change. If you are here this morning without a personal encounter with Jesus, you've been religious all your life, living your own way. And today, Christ wants you to repent. Christ wants Christ to come. Suddenly, I lie to Christ. As long as you live religious life without personal salvation from your sins, you are just wasting time in church. You need that personal decision to say all things have passed away and embrace a new life. That is when things begin to happen. So this morning, I want to give you a chance. If you are here this morning, you would like me to pray for you to give, to help you give your life to Christ. You want to repent, you want to come to Christ, you want to begin a new. You want to begin your Christian life, you want to begin a war. For me, I did that to the first February 84. When I gave my life to Jesus. I know the place, I know the day, I know where it happened. That evening, I was on my knees, weeping at the altar, repenting, confessing my sins, and my life changed. This morning can be your own day. You want to receive Christ. Can I see your hand this morning? You want to say, Lord, I want to repent of my sins. I want to accept Jesus today. I want to change Christ in my heart. Can I see your hand? Anybody here want to receive Christ this morning? Are you invited here by friend? You want to take a step to surrender your life to Christ? God bless you, sir. Come forward. You know. you know. Without Christ, 
Well done, sir. Hallelujah. You know, this is the greatest, listen, sir. This is the meaning of life. To receive the God who made you in your life. Amen. Without Christ, nothing. In my city, there used to be a very wealthy man, the man who owned a third of a certain town in Africa. Call him Paul Pamlicke. Very rich man. And the wife would come into my church, the man who was so wealthy. He had, in Africa, to have a, a financial manager, you know, he was wealthy. And, but at the end of his day, he had cancer. He was there struggling. So I asked him, what is the true meaning of life? The world cannot help. Friends cannot help. Now, even food cannot eat food because it should not eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this. You see that life without embracing the truth of Christ in you is a waste. So today I'm making the best decision. Can we pray to better place? Just close your eyes, sir. Just see Jesus before you and tell him, come to my heart. Can we just pray? Just give back. We are not worthy. Father, just talk to me. this morning for embracing Jesus as Lord to pray for restoration of your spiritual life come Holy Spirit come Holy Spirit come into this life let the peace of God come in you all things have passed away all things be made new and it built every attack of the enemy let Jesus take charge of your life Every yoke is broken. Every yoke is broken. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you. And you are a new creation. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.